How much of a difference can your monitor make to your PC gaming? I'm Dan Ackerman, and we're here taking a look at NVIDIA's G-Sync technology. Uh, this is a new approach from NVIDIA that basically says, we're gonna take the video card that you have in your gaming PC, and we're gonna allow you to talk to uh, one of a handful of new monitors that have NVIDIA technology built into it. And what it basically does is it takes the uh, refresh rate of the monitor and the uh, frame rate uh, from the video card in your computer and, and allows those to, to sync up. So basically your computer, no matter how powerful the video card's in it, will only kick out a full frame of new animation when the monitor is ready to receive a full frame. What that does is that eliminates what we call tearing, where you sort of see a half-drawn uh, uh, frame on the screen so that uh, there's kind of, you see the whole picture, but there's sort of um, some horizontal lines across it where it's a little bit out of sync. So the end effect is without that uh, tearing, uh, the image will seem smoother. You almost get the illusion of having a higher frame rate uh, than you actually do from the game. So the first thing we do is enable G-Sync. Right here we've got a really big, powerful main gear desktop computer with uh, three NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980 graphics cards in it, pretty much the high-end graphics card. Uh, we're going to see a pendulum swinging here, and this monitor is the non-G-Sync one, and you're going to be able to see this very obvious tearing back and forth here as the frames being written by the computer are not exactly in sync with the refresh rate of the monitor. And over here on this side, it looks completely smooth. So even though the frame rate is exactly the same on these, this looks uh, nicer and smoother and almost like you have a more powerful computer driving it. And I can even spin the camera around here and you can see that effect happening on the pillars here as well. Here very smooth and here you get a little bit of the tearing right there. So it's much more interesting to see this in the game. We can throw up the uh, built-in benchmark in Metro Last Light, a very challenging PC game to run even now. And you're going to be able to see a couple of examples, even though we're running this at very high detail levels at uh, 2560 by 1440 resolution. I would look up here at this sign uh, right behind these soldiers here. And as we look at it on the, on the regular monitor, you're going to see some of those horizontal lines. And if we look at it on the G-Sync monitor, you're not going to see that. If you look at a lot of TV reviews, uh, it's similar to something that uh, they call de-judder, uh, kind of video smoothing or sometimes a soap opera effect. On TVs, it's often overdone. Here in a game, uh, it actually just makes the game look nicer and smoother. So in order for this to work, you have to have a fairly recent NVIDIA graphics card, a GTX series, uh, and you need to have an, a G-Sync compatible monitor, and you can find that in the description of the monitor. We have an ASUS model right here, uh, and there'll be a big sticker on it that says G-Sync, and of course they cost more than regular monitors, so it'll be up to you to decide whether or not this uh, uh, smoother look is worth it. It'll be really interesting to see what happens when they start building this into more monitors and even laptop displays. I'm Dan Ackman, and that is a look at NVIDIA's G-Sync technology.